This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App Canvas Painter, Puzzle 15. We already have a bunch here. If you don't have this stuff, if your app isn't working, you need to go do the other parts of this lesson. I have videos for those parts if you get stuck. All right. Adjust the circle size. Among the other pieces of information contained in each event parameter are the values of movement X and movement Y. These numbers tell us how, fa how far in pixels the mouse moved since the last mouse event was triggered, and we can be and can be used to measure the speed of the mouse. If the movement is large, the mouse is moving fast. If the movement is small, the mouse is moving slowly. Let's use the mouse movement speed to make a cool effect when drawing. When drawing with a real pen or brush, the line usually gets thin when we make a quick stroke and is wider and darker when making slow ones. We can now generate this effect by using movement X and movement Y to calculate the radius of the circle. Since this calculation might be a little tricky, a smart thing to do would be to write a function that takes move X and move Y as parameters and returns a value that should be used as the radius. Okay. There are several ways to do this. One possible way to write the function is provided on the right, which uses some arithmetic tricks. The function to the right is actually only three lines of code, but is heavily commented to explain what it's doing. It makes a function called math.abs, which stands for absolute value, oh, which returns, <laughs> which returns the absolute value of a number. Feel free to use this or another method of converting movement x and movement y into radius. Why the absolute value, you ask? Because if we are moving to the left, think about an xy graph. If you move to the left, x is going to be negative, right? If you move three steps to the left, you move negative three over. And so we want to only know the absolute value because to make the pin stroke, to make it uh, change size, we don't care if it's positive or negative. What we're looking at is how fast are they moving. So are they moving backwards, forwards, left or right? We don't care. We just want the speed of that movement. How fast are they moving? How much have they moved? So you want the absolute value because we don't care if it's still left. We don't care if it's negative. All right. Do this. Write a function like the one above that accepts two parameters, one for movement X and one movement Y, and returns a radius. A higher speed should lead to smaller to a smaller radius. Inside your mouse move event handler, set the radius of the circle to the value returned by your function. Ah, this is getting tricky, but we can do this. Where the function takes event.move x and event.move y as input. For example, if the function above were your code, uh, your code would be that. When your program can confirm when we draw the speed of the mouse, Affects the radius of the dots. The effect should look something like what's below. All right. So they gave us a good idea here. So why not use it? Um, let's go ahead and do blocks. I think it's a bit easier to read. I'm going to grab a function here and do dot radius. Now I need to add a parameter. So for me, if you're in text mode, you can just write one and then do a comma. I just added two by clicking the little arrow. Change.x. I'm just going to use what they did. Why not? Change.y. Okay. And then the speed uh, variable. So we're going to need to grab a variable. And we'll call it speed2. Speed is going to be equal to math.abs change x. Plus, right, so the absolute value of the change in x plus the absolute value of the change in y. And we're adding those together to kind of get a rough idea of the speed. And then we're going to make that impact the size of our mouse or the size of the radius of the circle drawn. So variable, oh, we already have our output is going to be equal to 1 plus 5 divided by whatever that speed is. So at least it will all be visible it will always be visible because it's going to be a 1 plus 5 divided whatever our speed is calculated at. And then we're going to do a return. So our function is going to return output. 
return means it well pushes it back so whatever output is equal to and it's going to be equal to whatever this is equal to right so we're going to do absolute value of change x absolute value of change y add them together to create speed we then take five divide it by speed add one and that equals output and then our function returns or pushes back output whatever that was equal to and now it asked us to call it to run it from uh for example yep So inside your mouse dot m or your mouse move right up here, instead of having a radius, it wants us to have our circle. We got that offset offset got that. Now I name my function the same as them. So dot radius and then in parentheses, these are the parameters movement dot uh, move dot movement x comma event dot and event dot movement is just the current movement of the mouse right this event is what we're actually appending to the array so we have a list of all the events but this we're doing on the fly this is right when we're drawing the circle we're passing that current event wherever I, our mouse is currently and wherever it is y currently we're passing that as arguments and then when we call the function change.x change.y refer to that event x that event y so as we're drawing we're calling this function telling it where our mouse is currently right and it we're looking at the change in that detecting the speed and returning a number that will be the radius of our circle hopefully dot radius event dot x event dot y that all looks good Oh, nope, I need a closing parenthesis. Uh, yeah, parenthesis. There we are. Let's give this a shot. I'm going fast. I'm going slow. Oh, that's kind of fun. Fast. Slow. I love it. I'm going to change mine so it's a bit easier to see, I think. I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, a three and an eight, maybe. Just so we can actually see it on YouTube's. <laughs> and now, oh no, ah, bah, bah, bah. oh, so for our original, it's now messed up. I wonder if we'll fix that later, because our original sets it to a different speed. Regardless, but ah, reset one more time for our kicks. Ah. Awesome. Let's uh keep. Well, so the tricky part was adding this dot function. I did a little bit different numbers, and then you really do need to call it like they have. You use it here. So, can't even really see all that. There's so much code. Oh, no, we get to then. Cool. Let's keep going. 